Hey guys, this is Lee Sin. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you a process about my old artwork. This old artwork uh, uh, I created uh, um, two years ago, and it's called a paper folding. So uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you my process and explaining each steps what I'm thinking. So let's get started. So in the first step, actually it's very basic rough sketch line work. Uh, and uh, I'm trying to uh, use a very rough line to tell the basic uh, story in my mind. And uh, you will see that I building uh, a structure for this space. This is very important. Uh, first, uh, you will need to think about the perspective then imagine that uh, um, in this kind of box, you know, it's like a room. What kind of elements you will have? Of course, I search on Google for some reference photos about uh, what kind of uh, uh, elements we'll have in the boat. And uh, in this step, I think the most important things is uh, like uh, the structure about this space. Uh, you don't have to think about it just like a box. A box is too simple. You, sometimes you think about it, it's like your room. You know, you have uh, different rooms in your home, right? Uh, maybe one or two or three room rooms connect each other, so the, your environment won't be boring. A lot of artists they create uh, uh, an uh, the artwork only have one perspective point. That will make your artwork very boring because it looks like a one room, right? So for me, sometimes I create like several rooms. So you can see maybe uh, this is like a, a bigger room. Then maybe here I have a room. Maybe here I have a room. It depends. So uh, you don't have to give it very uh, specific. I think I I mean in the in the very beginning step, uh, you can you can. Mm, of course, you can like uh, create a very good line work, make sure all detail you have. This is another approach. Uh, for me, I always give a very rough detail, uh, uh, a very rough line work in the beginning. Then I will enjoy the process when I'm painting. Then I will put more detail, think, uh, think more deeper. So then uh, the second step will be create lighting. I think the light is very important, especially in the beginning. If you can't set your light source and don't know what kind of light you will use, that will be a problem. So I created like a two light source. One is on the top of this character. You will see the light hit this character and uh, create a very strong uh, shadow. And another light is uh, behind this character. You will see the light is behind this character on the window. So, and uh, here I have some refraction light from this nature light. Uh, so I will imagine this light will, uh, will like from the sun. This light is from the sky. So these two light, uh, you will think about the detail. One is very warm, one, will, one is very cold. I mean, if you compare with the two light source. And uh, then I will think about, uh, try to put some marks for the environment to make sure that I have some, uh, uh, some object. Of course, sometimes you will put some local color on the object, each object. But the problem is like, if if this object is red, but then you put a red. This is not good because you didn't connect to the environment. So I think when you put your red color on some area, then you will need to think about your environment, what kind of light you use. So if I put a red color here, then I will think about the environment is warm. So I will mix a little bit of yellow, then I put it. Then this color will be the local color, not like a pure red. So uh, because this environment is like a warm environment, so all the, uh, all the environment and all the pops are kind of warm color. So then, uh, then in the next step, I give more detail and I'm try, still trying to uh, put the light, uh, uh, light source and make the light more interesting. So you will see that I put a light from here and from here. Also, I make some small light from the gap of this area. 
Of course, this light uh, right now, I'm thinking maybe I want to create a very strong light for the for the uh, behind this uh, character. I'm still thinking uh, it's like kind of like a try. You don't have to make a decision too quickly. Uh, I'm enjoying this uh, process because it's very interesting. I, sometimes I change change the change my idea. Sometimes I got some interesting result. Um, so I'm put the light main light here. Then I still want the light to hit this character's head and the back, but I don't want to get the uh, ground too much because I because you check this uh, step two, you will see the contrast on the floor is too strong, and then there's no too much detail that I want to tell you on the floor, right? It's not interesting, it's boring. So I make a decision that I. I just kind of, you know, uh, kill this area. I don't want a too much strong, strong contrast there. And uh, then I give more detail for the environment. Uh, make sure they have uh, their, they have the structure about uh, each element, element, like a square, right? And uh, then um, still give more detail, but uh, uh, I keep the light idea here it's very interesting this light from here is very interesting and it's not the main main light and i move the light the main light from from um from here to the center top temp yeah because i feel like the light put it here is like in the corner it's kind of like distracting people's eyes so i make a decision put the light here and also, I killed the light uh, behind this character. I think it's too strong, but I will still have a light over there. Then you see, I open two lights from here, not very strong, you know, it's kind of like a, a little bit. And then, um, and then I try to put more detail for the character, for the environment, and uh, give all the, all the object more specific details. Uh, also, the character is very important. Uh, what kind of pose, what kind of face he have that you will need to think about this because this is very important. The character's pose can tell a lot of story. And uh, also, uh, I, I think about to put a more uh, kind of texture on the environment uh, because it's like a very dirty and a wet environment. Then I make a decision that uh, I will need a light uh, hit the character's top because this character right now is kind of like a very hard to recognize because he he, he is uh, um, he is like in the environment too much. So I create a very strong light uh, maybe behind this character then hit his top, his, his head, the top of head and his shoulder. And uh, um, try to give some light here because I wanted this light to make a contrast for this character and uh, make the character easy to read. Then maybe it's not work. I'm still struggling, you know. Sometimes you will keep the balance. Think about it, keep, uh, how to keep the balance. And then uh, I, overall that I wanna like focus on create the light. So you see that I create a, different light and the angle from uh, from the light that uh, make the environment and make the light source very clear. So you will see that uh, I kill the light here and I put the light effect in the center because this area will be our focal area. The story is here. The story not here, not here, is in the center behind us. This, uh, between these two characters. So this area is most important area. So you will see, I put a lot of like uh, um, detail and the light effection, light effection. And also I just maybe, you know, uh, kill a little bit uh, strong highlight from this character. I think it's too much. It's make, uh, make, make me feel this character is the main character and this one is maybe not very important. So I kill a little bit of highlight and still keep this character have very strong contrast. Then I still can put more 
light effection, you know, the light is very important. You can, can, can tell you the distance about this uh, environment, uh, can building the emotion about your artwork. Uh, then, you know, you can try, still try to put more details and uh, some, some dirty stuff and make sure that uh, um, think about the um, two characters, the light is very um, interesting. Like I said, this light uh, hit the floor and uh, maybe hit a little bit about this character's head and his shoulder. And also this character have some highlighter on his hands. Maybe the light is from here because this hand may be a metal. So if you check my, my video about talk about light, you will, you will know that uh, the highlight always uh, on the metal have like a 100% white. Other area, it's very hard to see pure white. So this, this is metal and this one have like a kind of like a reflection light from, from the sky, you know, this is light because this area, I didn't like um, have, have light source, but here we have reflection light from the sky. Of course, you cannot see it. <laughs> um, also, you will think about uh, maybe, you know, some decisions that you made uh, for the environment, for the light source. And maybe <clears throat> you still can keep the idea, ideas like uh, before I keep some light here, but uh, right now I still have, have this light source here. But uh, you will see it's not very strong, right? A uh, little bit. So, so normally I will have several uh, visions for my artwork. Then I will choose one to, to, to make a decision, you know, because it's really hard. I think the artwork is always about uh, the balance, especially when you uh, almost finish your artwork. Um, how much detail that you wanna have Maybe sometimes, you know, you put too much detail and then you lost your whole relationship about artwork. Sometimes it's about that you don't have enough uh, uh, details. So it's really hard. Uh, all right, so this video is about uh, my process like this. I hope you can enjoy it and uh, hope you can learn something from my video. And uh, I hope you are well and safe. Uh, thank you. Bye, I'll see you next time.